Hello everybody and welcome to yet another studio update. I promised I would do one and I apologize it's been a while since I did my last one. I've really really had a lot of insane deadlines and I met most of them which was really quite an accomplishment for me. Um, anyway here's Perido. I'm going to be working on him these upcoming weeks trying to get a lot more done on him because he's going to be coming overseas with me to Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I know. My watercolor palette is dry. That's dry too. I need to start adding water and get working on them. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what is going on in my little world of art. Follow me over here. See my lovely feet. And aha, uh -huh, what am I doing? I found out that I'm going back overseas for the um, Abu Dhabi International Equestrian and Hunting Exhibition. Actually, I said that wrong. It's the Abu Dhabi International Hunting and Equestrian Exhibition. I'm sorry, I've not had too much coffee yet today. Anyway, these are all potential artworks. And what I decided to do was actually just line them up and get a better sense of what I would be bringing over. Um, after reviewing my works I've been bringing over there for the past two years, I realized I'm not doing... Um, as many full body shots of horses or I'm not doing them running around and you know full of action and life because I had one person tell me and it really struck a chord he loved my work but he's like I really want to feel the horse I want to sense them I want to just see them which makes sense because a lot of my horses were standing still in the drawings and stuff like that so I'm gonna try to do a few more full body action shots um, all of these photographs are either mine or my friend Bridget, who is a professional photographer, and she actually has her racing credentials, or her press credentials, to go to races. And for those that know races, look at that, there's Hanson. She got this really awesome photo of him, so uh, of course I'm going to be drawing that. How could I not? There is Rachel Alexandra. And I don't have the ones of Zenyatta that she got, so I'll find those, though. I have a whole bunch uh, that she got of Zenyatta during her final race, so I'm definitely going to be doing one of those as well. And anyone that rides at the same barn as me, there's Shadow. Shadow again. Where else is that lovely boy? There's Shadow. Shadow and Scott. Hey, Scott. Uh, Shadow and more of Shadow. And then the rest are... Uh, photographs I've taken at various shows. I travel around. I'm kind of a horse paparazzi. I figure out all the big shows, go to them and photograph horses. And then these two are from my wonderful trip to Al Aryam stables. There's Antar. Love that horse. He cannot take a bad photo ever. He's just stunning. Definitely going to be working on him. Okay, so... These are all my potential works, and I'll keep digging through all my reference photos and see if there's any other ones I think work better as a collected portfolio of works, if you will. And now, here is the latest drawing. Tomorrow's my deadline for this, and if you guys have been listening to me ranting and raving like a madwoman on my Facebook page, you'll know that the Hackney watercolor painting and I did not get along. I just kept having so many issues with the background, and I will get this painting done. It's just with the deadlines I have, I can't afford to keep messing around with it, and um, it was starting to drive me quite insane. Actually, let's see. There it is. He's in timeout. He gets to stay there. I'm not talking to him. He's grounded. So he's there. So instead of feeling completely defeated, I instead focused all my energy onto a new drawing. And I really like how it's turning out. This one I'm going to be submitting to the American Saddlebred uh, Museum's art auction. And the deadline to get my submissions in is uh, March 26th, I think. So yeah, really got to book it on this one. But he is one of my minimal white drawings. And I've had some people ask, how do I determine what to leave in, what to leave out? Well, in this case, it's a pinto saddlebred, so all the darkest elements are going to be represented. 
Then when it comes to the actual outline of the horse, I really am gonna just erase most of the lines, my outline here of his back, because I don't think that is too necessary. For his barrel, I'm going to probably erase this line, the outline of it, and I'll use some subtle shadows in here to suggest it, that it is actually there. Um, for his legs, I'm going to definitely be playing with the muscles and tendons in bone structure of his legs because I can't just flat out erase my outline and leave like little hooves floating in the air. It doesn't make too much sense. I'm trying to give an idea of a horse. I'm suggesting the outline and the structure of the horse, but I'm not spelling it outright for you guys in this drawing. Um, his tail and his mane are definitely going to get filled in. And hopefully it looks uh, rather snazzy when I'm done with it. Okay, I will attempt to now work on his little hoof for you guys. Because I know people like seeing me actually work. Bear with me though, because it is kind of hard to hold a camera and draw at the same time. So, Let's see if I can do this. This big dark thing here, if you guys are wondering, that's going to be the horseshoe on him. Let's get rid of all that dust. There we go. There's a good start to it. I'm going to hopefully make sure my camera's focusing on this. I'll keep playing with it throughout the day, but I hope you guys at least get a sense of how I layer all these colors. zoom out and if this focuses come on camera there you go move that so then you get the kind of the whole picture Let's see that's starting to look good and then I'll just play around with it a little bit more and then start working on the other stuff all right so that is my very lengthy 
rambling, insane update for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later.